So we can see a, a quick screenshot here on the top of how the tabs are displayed to your reader users. So think of it as within a given dashboard or analysis, you can now organize that content differently uh, and more efficiently by having these tabs and uh, sheets within there. So within each sheet, you can add up to 30 visualizations and you can add up to 20 sheets for your entire dashboard. You can expose parameter controls that show up across each one of the sheets. So if I make a parameter selection on one of the sheets, it will be reflected on my other sheets here. I can also set drilling actions uh, or URL actions to be able to drill from one tab to another and send some filters from uh, one sheet to another to provide that uh, type of navigation and drill down experience. So we'll take a look at uh, how both of those are applied. And for the URL actions specifically, we're going to follow this with uh, our second feature of, of the presentation, which is some custom options for the URL actions. All right, so let's take a look at how this one looks in QuickSight. So again, here you can see that I have my sheets displayed on the top of my dashboard here. I can step through them just by clicking on them. So I have a summary tab, I have my details tab, um, I have my metric board, which all of my different KPIs and monitoring type metrics. Uh, but nonetheless, it's very easy for me to organize the content so that my users uh, can find what they need. If I were to make a selection of one of my parameters on my controls here, and I select Enterprise, for instance, you know, we can see that when I step over to one of my other tabs, that that selection is consistent. You can also drill down between these tabs. So for instance, from here, I have some drill downs built in. So if I wanted to go select a particular customer and see the details or the orders for that customer, in this case, it's bringing me to my details tab and applying some filters there. So we can see that we're just filtered on this one particular customer. You know, similarly, we have those drill downs built in uh, on all these visuals. So if I wanted to go drill down by city instead, to here now just drill down on New York. So that's a quick high level on how the sheets work from a reader perspective. What we'll do is let's show how you actually create these. So now we're in the analysis, we're in our editing mode. So you can see I have my tabs here on the top. If I want to make a new tab, I can click this little add button. It's going to make me a new tab here and add a quick visualization to it. And then if I wanted to rename it, and I can also reorder them. So if I preferred to actually put this one up closer to the front, and I can move them around as well. So if I prefer that I want to take my trend tab and move it a little bit closer to the front, you can simply drag and drop these to reorder them. Great, so that is the new feature of tabs. <laughs> Very easy to implement, um, but is going to have a, a great impact on both of our author users and our reader users, just in being able to organize your dashboards and, and bring more information in them, into them and to, uh, to convey that information in a clearer and more efficient way.